Okay, we got sound. Okay, hey yo, Drake. You know, just before we start the show, if you need ghostwriters, I know a guy who knows a guy who, who knows a guy. <clears throat> what did you? Did you turn the guys me? Whoo! Ah, man, what a week! What a weekend! Yo, before we could even record, something else has developed. Uh, anyway, what up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to Gloves Off again. I'm Brian Willis, no relation to Bruce. Shout out to all the subscribers. We are loving your love and support. Thank you so much. Uh, T-shirts are still on sale, 15 bucks a pop. I think that's it for today's intro. We need to get into the to, into 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 the stories. Okay. You ready? <sighs> In the news today, from the strange and weird fact files. Strange and weird fact files. Where did you pull that from? That's from a Michael Jackson skit for. Oh, Eminem. what's it called? Tabloid Junkie. No, man. What? It's a Michael Jackson song called Tabloid Junkie. What? Off his history album. Anyway, anyway, whatever. We 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 digress. Um, local news. We're gonna start off with local news. We're gonna try and keep it short, because um, yeah, uh, a, a lot has been happening, ladies and gentlemen. So, in local news, Zimbabwe's most hated socialite. And ah, you can't say that. He's not the most hated, yeah. No, Zimbabwe's most followed. Zimbabwe's most controversial. Controversial, maybe. No, not maybe. He is controversial. How so? What do you mean, how so? How is he controversial? He's always giving polarizing opinions. Well, that's him. Exactly, he's controversial. Wait, who are we talking about? It's, 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 it's my titi. Ah, I'm joking, ah. it's not. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> it's Shadaya. <laughs> wow. Shadaya. Okay. Shadaya, ladies and gentlemen. No more photos of Shadaya of him in some truck, you know, talking to somebody and whatnot. As the man recently bought himself his own vehicle. Congratulations, Shadaya. We at Gloves Off, we would like to say from us to you, congratulations. Well done, my guy. Although the car was not a virgin. That's okay. It's okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think cars are the only thing you can get that are not virgins, according to Shadaya. Uh, oh, what car did he buy, by the way? Did he buy it or he was given? Ah, uh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> what car was it? What? Toyota. It's a Toyota Aqua. Hmm. Also now known in Zimbabwe as Chifayo Tours vehicle. Oh, serious? Yeah, for real. Like, if you see any Toyota Aqua in Zimbabwe, Mr. Chivayo says you are allowed to just get into that car and be given a lift and go wherever you're going because that because that, that person, person did not buy that car according to Chivayo, this is this, this it's not me this is according to mr sir wicknell Chivayo. but uh so can i find can i find shadow on indrive i don't think he's on indrive but you won't even have to pay them indrive you have to pay yeah i can just put zero amount yeah, he, yeah he, and he can. He By has, the way, he has the option people, to say no. In drive is the Uber of Zimbabwe. For those who didn't know, but I'm sure it's self explanatory In in right? drive is actually international. Oh, is it? It's international. Yeah. It's just so very much. well pushed in Zim because of their strategy of you make your own offer on so on what? how much you want to pay. Hey guys, hey, are we getting paid for this? What? For what? Advertising in drive. <laughs> Ah, anyway, yeah, I, back to we, Shadaya. Yeah, he bought a Toyota Aqua, <laughs> and uh, well, some people are saying it's from Chivayo Underground, but I don't think so. I, I really don't think so. But I'm sure he knew people were going to suspect this. 
when he chose the Toyota Aqua. And I'm wondering, why did he choose the Toyota Aqua? He could have chosen anything. Hmm? He could have chosen anything. Anything right? else. But mm-hmm. maybe he wanted an Aqua or oh, that's the best deal he got. I don't know. Hey, Zim, Zim is tough, man. But anyway, shout out to Shadaya. Uh, well done. Uh, Dofunga, during uh, rainy season, he's going to be splashing a lot of single mothers on purpose. Why are you giving him ideas? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> speaking of <laughs> speaking of Sir Wicknell, you just reminded me of uh, King Andoro. <laughs> King Andoro is one of our most gifted stand-up comedians in Zimbabwe. Yeah, uh, speaking of King Andoro, just uh, check him out. He's got a tour that's coming out soon, uh, as you can see on the graphics over there. Uh, well, people digest uh, the, the, the tours and stuff. Uh, so King Andoro recently has... Well, it wasn't recent, but there's a clip of him that went viral where he's saying, Sir Wicknell needs to be stopped. Uh, because he's doing too much with these cars. He's, he's just, you know, he's giving too many people and, you know, he's now, you know, causing a lot of, you know, uh, what the, what's the word? Hater syndrome. Yeah, hater syndrome in him. Mm. And, you know, it was a funny skit. I mean, honestly speaking, yeah, it, was it was a funny skit. I yeah. don't think there was any any malice in it. I mean, King Kandoro has, is is popular for, you know, for his satire on socio-economic issues, the ruling party, politics. He's always touched on those issues. And this one was no different. I mean, for real, for real, it was funny. Everything he said was funny. But I think Wicknell kind of like took away from it when he responded with this long story talking about, hey, this guy needs to respect the ruling party. It has given us the freedoms that we are enjoying today. But uh, yeah, you went too deep, Wicknell. No. I, you I deep is a deed. No, I mean, we get I it. You're... He did. What do you mean? No, what? He, he, I think from his standoff. Uh, he's doing his job. Yeah, he's doing his job. He's doing he's, his job. He's just like saying, yeah. Because he actually said, I, I found it funny. He actually said that. I found it funny, but then, you know, uh, when we now get into, like, more, you know, pressing matters, I think we should respect the, the party, they've done so much for us, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I don't yeah, think I don't there's think anything it, wrong it, with it, what Kandoro said. No, I don't, I, even though, I, it's, it's not like he's gonna, like, retaliate in any form of way. I think uh, no, you already, like, that, that is him retaliating. Nah, but it's, it's not of course they're not gonna do, they're not gonna do anything yeah, that's to saying. Kandoro yeah. that's, like, you know, serious. Kandoro was at ZBC... Uh, studios the other day yeah. <laughs> he actually did a short little thing about it saying hey these guys called me for an interview and I'm thinking mm, and yet they know what I do <laughs> and they want me in their studio <laughs> and he went for the yeah. interview and he was like ah no what I realized is it's you guys me and my government we, we know each other well. It's you guys that want me and my government to, to be fight. fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I yeah. mean, Wicknell, I, I really feel like Wicknell took away a lot from it. It, it, it. it felt distasteful. I don't think Wicknell even needed to say that because nobody was going to take it as serious as Wicknell made it sound. It was satire. Yeah, it was satire, but then... Of course, there are things like, you know, jokes usually revol- revolve around the truth and blah, 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 but people ain't silly. Come on. Yeah. People ain't stupid, but I guess uh, Wicknell was just trying to, you know, show uh, the, the the ruling party yeah. that he supports them, yeah. which which yeah. I suppose is cool, which is nice, which is nice. Well done, Sir Wicknell. Ah, uh, we should give props to Sir Wicknell. Yeah, we might get an aqua. Uh, no, uh, no. I, 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 well, you don't I, want an aqua. I, I, I ain't saying that. I mean, if he wants to give us, I mean, I'm just saying we should respect him for what he does. I mean. Well done to the dude. I mean, but you I, know. But anyway, anyway, the next story about Wicknell has nothing to do with saying we should, with me saying we should respect. No, him. but but it's it's it's. I think it's part it's part and parcel of the whole thing. It's tied into it's weaved into get together. But what's the, weaved into get? Like from his statement, yeah. Of what's his name, Kandoro. King Kandoro, yeah. Yeah, and then he was saying he was talking about you need to stop giving people cars. Then Wicknell said, no, I'm not going to stop. I've actually put aside 850k. No, to buy a hundred uh, more aquas to actually give out, because I mean, imagine 
uh, 10 uh, business moguls like me handing out wealth. You know, that was actually from a good... Uh, In all honesty, King Kandoro did not mean anything no, he yes, said when no, he said stop I, giving. I'm just saying, what he, King he, Kandoro was saying uh, was, I'm listen, not, I'm not saying, what King wait, Kandoro was saying was, stop giving people cars, you're making us look bad. Yeah, but he's... He he's, was joking. Yeah, he was joking. That's what I'm saying. Weak is actually saying, imagine, he's taking this as a platform to actually show, like, to say, hey man, what if like, uh, like 10 of business people like me started out handing out he could have just people. said that without shooting kandoro down he didn't necessarily shoot him down he, he did, was just saying of. it but just, but you he, he was right in that respect and saying share the wealth that's that's all i got from it share the wealth if you got money and i mean yeah share your money you must yeah, share your share. money if you can yeah never giving out. if you got your that's money got to share yeah. yeah that's what i got it Sh share your money yeah, money that you worked for. Share it. It's all right. Moving on. I'm just hating on Whitnell. I'm not hating on Whitnell. No, Why would I hate on Whitnell? I also hating. want an aqua. Yeah, no, you're hating I also on want a Chivayo Tours vehicle. <laughs> I also want it as well. Moving, moving on to international news. Not international news. You still haven't talked about him getting the deal of. Oh, okay. Yeah. Speaking of Wicknell, still on Wicknell. Wicknell might be getting a deal with Starlink. I don't know how the deal is going to be working, but uh, it's actually in its final stages. So Starlink is actually, or oh, there's a high probability that Starlink is actually coming to Zimbabwe, with Wicknell as the licensed provider or oh, oh, i don't know the broker oh, oh, I, I don't know how it's, how it's gonna, gonna be work, working yeah. but uh hey if starlink is coming to zim i'm happy man yeah. i just hope it's going to be affordable i don't think it's that's be all cheap. because in all honesty i think starlink is the solution for a lot of like uh connection issues for people in remote areas because this thing will capture you no matter where you are in zimbabwe but that means internet is in trouble though I don't know. Zol is in trouble. Well, hey, yeah, uh, tell one. I think competition is good because. Yeah, but this is not competition. This is like obliteration. Yeah, this is like <laughs> extinction. No, but level. I think competition is good because, in all honesty, I'm not gonna lie to you. Econet service has been rubbish of late. They just been dropping calls. Juicing was a problem. Your your data would just disappear. Years and years, I bought like 10 gigs of Econet data, and it just disappeared. Like, all of it. not all of it, but I just to, I bought it like when today is what Sunday. Mm. I bought it on Friday, and today I'm being told I've exhausted my, my, my bundle. Maybe you used it, fam. <laughs> it doesn't make sense because this is not my first time buying this bundle, and I know for a fact with the way that I use it, it can last maybe a week because I do use it heavily. I do watch a lot of videos and what, but I don't do downloads and stuff like that. So there was nothing that had changed from Friday and now from the way I use it. And today I'm being told my, my data's finished. Like, so things like that, when we have competition like Starlink, these guys will wake up and probably give us better deals, better service, just, add, add more value for money. I'm just hoping the subscription will be reasonable, bro. Because, yes. If it's got a middleman in it, yeah, it can be. I don't know how the deal's gonna be, work, so I'm not really cheap. gonna. I can't really comment much on it except I'm wondering how it's going to be working. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll, so we'll just wait a couple of weeks, or should I say, a month or two? Yeah. To see what what's gonna be the deal like. And on that issue on uh, data and connection, uh, we now link from local to international news. That was a nice little... I tried. No, no. It wasn't yeah, smooth. It wasn't smooth. No. It wasn't smooth. But yeah. Anyway. Um, Drake ladies, and Kendrick. Guys, there's a fire in the hip-hop scene right now. A fire, a blazing fire that people are failing to put out. So as you why all would know... you want to put it out anyways? As you all know... As you, yeah, because where it's going now, fam? No, why would you put it out? <laughs> I mean, hey, it's, it's until you tap out. Okay, so, 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 for those who don't know, Drake and Kendrick are beefing it out right now. Um, Rick Ross, Kanye West, and who else? Uh, 
Chris, there was Chris yeah, Brown, Brown and, and Quavo. Quavo. Yeah, they were beefing as well, but yeah, those beefs are lightweight. Oh, but shout out to Chris Brown though. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> those beefs are, 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 are lightweight compared to this whole Kendrick and Drake uh, beef. So for those of you who are not in the loop, it started off at um, in in some point in which month was it? Like January, month. February. Oh, it no. was March. It yeah. was March on like that like when that, Kendrick yeah. was like, "Hey, screw the big three. It's just big me." Yeah, yeah. yeah and he went at everybody, right? And then J Cole uh, on the fifth of uh, was it April? Seven minute drill. He responded with seven minute drill with an album called "Might Delete Later," and like two days later. He with apologized. Did you just say with an album called Might Delete Later? Yeah, there was an album called Might Delete. It was a mixtape called Might Delete Later that had seven minute drill. So he had planned this out that he was going to delete it. It was called Might Delete Later. Bruh, say. It might be scripted, uh, yeah. I told you this, though. You can't make this. Uh, you can't make <laughs> this. But I told out. you this. Ah, you can't make anyway, this wait, I'm giving people the timeline. <laughs> I'm giving people the timeline. J. Cole apologized for 7 Minute Drill and he deleted it. it was deleted and you know people called him a uh, schmuck and uh, blah 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 and yeah. truth be told a lot of people are now changing saying hey we forgive J. Cole for folding J. Fold for folding because hey now the beef has hit uh, yeah, it's escalated it's escalated it's so people really are like bad. yeah J. Cole well done, but I think J. Cole still deserves all the disrespect simply because J. Cole has been chucking shots at Kendrick and Drake for a while. Yeah, yeah. he has been chucking shots, right? Because even that big three line, Kendrick was responding to J. Cole because J. Cole said, we are the big three, blah, blah, blah. But amongst the big three, I'm Muhammad Ali. What does that mean? That means I'm the best of yeah, us he didn't three. Say, I'm he said I'm Muhammad Ali. Yeah, he said he said, but he didn't structure it like that, as if like. I, of he's course, saying, I'm paraphrasing, dude. Yeah, that, but but I'm that's saying what, I'm what saying. It, that's what he meant. No, that's not what he meant. What did he, he mean you, then? If you Please listen to it. He what was, did he mean? Saying, Explain. I'm feeling like I'm Muhammad Ali because even if even in the tr it's in the track itself, right? He said. Uh, you wouldn't wanna, you wouldn't wanna put a feature on, uh, you wouldn't wanna take a feature with me. Does that mean that he was throwing shots at Drake as well? If he's talking about the big three, yes. He so was why would Drake the hop on, on a track with him and then he's dissing him on the same track? It happens. Kendrick has done this before uh, as well, yeah? Uh, no. I think it was just... It Are was you forgetting started. Kendrick on control? Yeah. He dissed Big Sean as well. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, like, it, I don't think it was like, it was like, like, like. No, it was like that. That's why it, no. Kendrick responded. Nah. Why do you think Kendrick responded? No, Kendrick just said, I, I, Screw Kendrick, the big three. Yeah. It's just big me. Because Kendrick never liked those two at all. He doesn't no, consider them as friends. No, Kendrick and Cole were cool, man. No. Come on. Maybe Kendrick no, and Drake. No, Yeah. Dude. But Kendrick and Cole, they were cool. Ke Kendrick and Cole, right? They were cool, like, aside. But when it came to rap, there was no friends involved. There was no friendships. Ke Kendrick has been saying it since a long time ago that, yo, I do not befriend anybody in this rap industry. I'm trying to kill all of you. He said it. He said it. I'm going. I'm make trying sure to make. Yeah, he said yeah, that on control. Yeah, I know. He, d he doesn't want or any friends. Or murder you, nigga. Yeah. Make sure your fans never hurt you. Exactly. So I know that. In, I know in that he doesn't. He doesn't want any friendships within, like saying. So are like, you saying they're friends outside, but on the mic they're like full tech. On the mic, he's saying, I don't want to be associated with you guys saying that I'm going to be lovey-dovey with you. If you want to go toe-toe-toe -to -to with me and get the throne, come at me. That's why he was ready. All this time, he was ready. He was ready for these guys. Anyway, I still think J. Cole deserves all the smoke uh, because he apologized after he dropped his diss track. And to me, that's like, dude, you're disorganized. So it's either want... it's either you want to be in the beef or you don't want. If you don't want to be in the beef, don't drop the diss track. So if, Leave it alone. If he apologized, are you do you, do you say uh, K Dot should still kick him whilst he's down because he apologized? Uh, I don't. I'm not going to encourage it, but I'm not going to blame K Dot if he carries on no, and it's does pointless. It. Because, it's pointless. Yeah, yes. because he's won that battle. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame him. No. Because why are you, dude? It's like have you ever seen that slapping competition, where people slap each other? 
Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah. It's like I get in a competition with you to slap you, right? And I'll just slap you and then you don't even flinch. And then I'm like, yeah, I don't want to play no more. <laughs> I don't oh, want to play. That's what J. Cole did. But J. Cole has lost a lot of street cred because of and, what he did. Yeah. So that's and, enough. And he deserves all the disrespect. So, yeah, so I'm but, saying people should stop apologizing to J. Cole for stepping out. What do you mean people should stop apologizing? People are saying we now understand why J. Why J. Cole left this beef. Yes, because they And knew. I'm saying they shouldn't do that. Why? He's a wimp. Yeah, he knows that. He already knows that. He said it. I'm sorry. He said it. Are, you, are, we, are, we, are we on the same page here? Yes, we are. So, what are you arguing with me about? I don't know. What are you arguing about? I am saying people shouldn't apologize to J. Cole. What? Nobody's apologizing. They are. People. people are saying... They said, uh, we understand and why. J. Cole... I, okay, we listen, dude. We understand why J. Listen, Cole listen. apologize. What you need to understand is, when I say people, I'm seeing the, the, the stuff... I'm saying the stuff that I've seen. You're talking about the stuff that you've seen, of which I've seen those people, right? I've also seen people saying stuff like, hey... I respect J. Cole for his decision. I don't. I Dude. apologize, J. Cole. Ah, we're sorry. We now understand. I Dude. don't apologize. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I still think J. Cole wimped out. Everybody knows he wimped out. Yeah, so, so why, are why are we saying... Are saying why are people saying, saying we now understand? Because... We always knew the beef was going to go listen, like this. Listen, we knew that. Okay, Brian, listen. It's like this. You know, this helicopter has been making the rounds. I want to ride in that thing. But anyways, has it been serviced? This is different this from is a what, car. You're good to you when you don't service it. Just stops. This thing. Will... This is what I'm saying. Uh huh. J Cole. This thing looks like Megatron. Damn. But this J. thing Cole. opening really. Listen, on the front. listen. J Cole said, "I am tapping out. I am mm -hmm. sorry. I apologized. Whatever smoke that's gonna come after that, right? It's irrelevant because he tapped out." Right, and then people. The reason why people are saying, you know what, J. Cole, we understand why you tapped out, is because you can't take this heat. You wimped out. It's okay. As Charlemagne actually said, his white jeans took over and said, "Yo, no, I need to back the out of this." I wonder why. Because most probably his management or whoever people that he had told him that you don't want the smoke because he is ready for all of you. Because Kendrick had been planning this for years. And I wonder what his black side is saying, J. Cole. Man, dude. He said, uh, probably, J. Cole's black side is probably sounding like Riley right about now. From Boondocks. Yeah, he dropped the gun. Man, you are <laughs> He dropped the you gun. <laughs> nah, right. J. Cole, okay, fine. Yeah, he walked away. Yeah. But anyway, so, Drake, J., J. Cole deletes seven-minute drill. Drake drops uh, push-ups. And on push-ups... He's going after a lot of people because Rick, Rick Ross and them. Yeah. Rick Ross also tried to take. Rick Ross, sit your fat ass down and go do your stock take music where you talk about the number of cars that you have and your mansions and your money. We don't care about the. No, but he did not bad. He wasn't bad. Mm. His, his diss track wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't that bad. Mm. Mm. It wasn't that bad. Mm. It wasn't just at the level that we expect, but no, yeah. no, it wasn't. You can't, you can't say ah, it was whack. It was alright. It wasn't whack, but we don't yeah. want to hear from him. Man. No, we he don't. He wants to. He got dissed, so he's gonna reply. So whether you want to hear about him, he, he needs to. Was say he just though? Yeah. He was anyway, touched. anyway, whatever. And then uh, Drake also dropped the, the one that I really lost respect for him for the Taylor made freestyle i didn't listen to that one. where he got uh tupac tupac's voice he used ai oh, yeah, 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 to yeah, do yeah, tupac's yeah. voice and snoop dogg's voice yeah, 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 yeah. like why snoop was actually approached and he yeah, said yeah, i don't snoop know was like huh? I, 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 I didn't i didn't he know did. that he did what? yeah ah no i Bruh, think that, that video was cringe to be honest which one the snoop dogg video because he probably knew, yeah. No, that was weird, bro. No, because there's no way Drake would do that without Snoop. No, but no, I'm, I'm saying like the way he was talking, it was just. He was probably it high. Was just off. Yeah, it he was, was off. probably high. It was off, he was bro. high. It was weird. He was probably high. And um, Tupac's estate uh, was it Tupac's brother? They actually filed a lawsuit against Drake, and they asked yeah. him uh, to delete that. Uh, they gave him like 24 hours. Yeah. And, and he didn't remove it. He did remove it, but after the 24 hours expired. Yeah. Uh, but then, like, I don't see them carrying on with the lawsuit. 
But that was really disrespectful, honestly speaking. And yeah, that's why now, 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 it's kind of like muddy the waters on whether we should count this on the scoreline. You yeah. get what I'm saying? That's why Kendrick said Tupac is turning in his grave. He was talking about the ring that Drake bought. <laughs> <laughs> there's a Tupac ring that Drake uh, paid a lot of money for, um, and then there's um, so this this now when the Taylor made freestyle drop, this was Drake really baiting Kendrick, saying, "Hey." We don't want you to be doing that nonsense of yours whereby you don't respond and then, you know, things just, you know, flow yeah, under the water, just, just, yeah. just flow. We, you are going to respond. And Kenny was quiet for a good two weeks or something like that, yeah? He was quiet because, yeah, it was like what? Yeah, it was about two weeks. He was quiet for about two weeks. And then uh, Kenny dropped Euphoria. Yeah. And whew, that's when we were like, okay, okay. Now, truth be told, I understand the people that were talking about Kendrick's delivery, that? saying it's a bit, it's a bit everywhere. Like, but that's always been Kendrick. That's his flow. That's, no, 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 no. It's That's not. His flow. It's it's no, no, no. It's not. Um, what I'm trying to say is Kendrick has never been a what you call it uh, a straight path delivery type person. He always tries to switch it up somehow. He's an experimental rapper. Exactly conceptual. This. Yeah. He's extremely conceptual when it comes to his delivery. So a lot of people were were questioning his delivery. I've always had issues with Kendrick's delivery from the beginning on his albums. On his features, the, the city with game or what's it called with 50 Cent? Phenomenal. When he features, he, he goes hard. But on his albums, I think he gets a little bit too conceptual. So I understood people were saying his delivery was a bit, but in all honesty, as much as his delivery may have been a bit, what he was saying, I don't, I don't have a problem with his delivery. What, what he was saying, because he switched it up a few he times. He always switches it in, up. Uh, on the track. And he doesn't, he, switch, it up. he doesn't switch it up once or twice. He switched it up he like three times. He switches it up a, long, a lot of times. And, and it goes according to the beat. And sometimes he doesn't nah, go he never, against the beat. He, he goes he, against the beat he, pretty much he most He goes of the time. like, it, it's his, that's his flow. So in terms of that regard, I understand why some people just don't mess with Kendrick. It's either you like him or you don't. Yeah, and I, I yeah. think I lean towards I don't. I'm not a Kendrick fan. I like it. It's um, not, not, not. This is not going to make me biased, by the way. But uh, so <laughs> he came up with Euphoria, right? And we're still busy, like thinking, oh snap, Drake, you're on the clock. Oh, Kendrick hit again with uh, 616 in LA. Hmm? And that's when he started talking about some stuff where i was like okay everybody got it bro j cole now i see why you left you were probably thinking i think j cole probably left because he's like hey with all the debt that kendrick already has on me nah let me get out of this one let me get out of this one he said what uh he he wrote to drake no, 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 that's not what, what is it? What is it? It's not 616. What is it? We're not there yet. What is it? 616 is not the one he said that. What is it? I'm Which getting to it? it. Drake didn't drop Family Matters. And Drake hit an angle whereby he's now talking about Kendrick and his personal life. Yeah, his mom. So How this one, with wife? Drake, it's easy to remember what he was talking about because of the title. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So he, he starts talking about um, how I got you on time today. So he starts talking about Kendrick. Uh, there's a line where Drake is like, I need to talk to your uncle because he's the man of the house. For those of you who don't know, Kendrick stayed with his aunt who had a sex change and she's now a man. And the video had the van from Good Kid Mad yeah, City getting crushed. Getting crushed. Yeah. And apparently the the diamond on his neck was from Kendrick's wife's ring, which is weird because Drake is saying Kendrick never married Whitney. 
this is where I say, what's what's his name? Um, I think who was it? There's a person who said, when Drake beefs, normally if he doesn't go through the rap way of doing things, he goes after the people around you. That no, no, be... that's that's a beef thing. That that's not a no, Drake thing. No, you don't you don't do it like that. If if you're gonna if you if you're gonna actually beef, right? Beef within the music, because that's when people get hurt. No, but you then, don't mess around with people's families. No, but then, dude. No matter even if you've got money, it doesn't dude, matter. Dude, dude, this has been the way. Tupac. Where is he now? <laughs> Where is he now? We don't need that. Nas on ether. We don't need that. We don't need that. Benzino at Eminem. No, no. MGK no. at Eminem. Game at Eminem. No, that's different. How is it different? Because M ended their careers. But without tapping into no, but people then, around uh, you them. can't say it's okay because of how M reacted. I'm saying, I'm saying you don't, if, if you're going to go musically at each other, go musically at each other. Don't go after family members by doing all kinds of like nitty gritty things. But, but That's how people get hurt. You know this guy, this guy, this is why I don't like discussing the show with what? this guy before we record. What did I do? I told this guy that, dude, you remember when we were driving to our cousin's place and I said to you, it's disrespectful to be dropping your kids, people's kids' names and people's wives. It's the, and then you're like, hey, dude, that's the culture. That's beef. That's dude, what you... Now you're saying it's listen, okay. Listen. It's not okay. Dan, you, you are so misquoting me. I am saying... I said Drake, right? Drake, when he doesn't go after you musically, he As goes... As in on wax. Yeah, As in on, on a wax. track. Yeah, on a track. He goes after people around you. As in physically, li literally. Yes. Okay. That's All what right. I'm saying. Okay. Okay. So in the music, it's okay to mention people's wives, people's kids. If you notice, it's okay. No, if you notice, like K Dot actually said, "Look, I'm trying to understand." We, yeah. This is. Th is it okay to mention people's wives and kids listen, on a song? This is what I'm saying. Listen. I just wanted to. It started off gradually. Right. Yeah. It started off gradually. When you say things out of wax about my family, right? Now you've put in another angle, right? I'm gonna dig up dirt about your family, yeah. yes? Yeah. And then if you can find more dirt about me, I'm gonna do. It's gonna what, be what? back and forth. It's gonna be back it and forth. It becomes psychological but warfare. Exactly. Which but, is what it is right now. But it shouldn't go to the point whereby you act, okay, but it's always gonna, like, you know, affect people's lives at, at some point. Because there are people's lives that are being, like, you know, exploited out there right but i'm saying drake if uh, i'm saying drake usually goes after people if it's if it's not musically beefing he, he goes, goes after people directly that's the problem anyway we actually did you spent, get my point i i got i got your point but i don't understand if you're saying it's okay to mention people's kids and wives on a song listen bro this is what i'm yes saying yes or no kevin it's all you need I, to say i'm saying listen there's context this is why I'm saying there's context, right? There's Drake when he's beefing with you musically, then there's Drake when he's beefing you outside music. Yes? Did you get that point? I get that point. Yes. I got Drake, it a long time ago. Drake introduced an angle saying he spoke about uh, Kenny's uncle, sex change, whatnot, whatnot, all that stuff, right? Yeah. That opened the floodgates. He also spoke about Kenny's wife. That opened the floodgates. Kenny was like, okay, cool. You want to play it that way? Kenny has been ready since... I, I keep on telling you guys. Kenny has been waiting for this. He was ready. Anyway, anyway. We Did you get that? We, we're taking way... I, Did I, you get it? You're not answering you're, you're my confused. question and you're repeating what you said before. What, 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 what and I question? said, what I got you. What is, is it okay? Yes. Thank you. That's all you needed to yes. say. In yes, that okay. in this context, That's yes. That's all you needed to say. Yes. That's all you needed what, to what, say. What's your perspective? The, yes, it's okay. It's my okay. perspective is... My perspective is, it gets a bit murky when you start now naming yes or people's no. kids. Yes or no, no, it's not. Okay. I don't think it's okay. I think it's okay. I don't think it's okay. Think it's it's okay. fun for us. But now I'm putting myself in a scenario where my family is mentioned. don't beef. I don't. don't I don't beef. beef. Exactly. You check. So I don't beef. It's as simple beef. as that. That's why Jacob... If, if somebody that's why comes at my, no, at my I don't family, want this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to come at you. That's Physically. Beef. That's beef. Physically. Huh? I'm gonna smack you. Why are you smacking if you, me? If you mention my family, I'm smacking. Well, that's the thing now. Yeah, that's then, why I don't start with people. No. If you're gonna mention, that's what I'm saying, Brian. Look, if you're gonna beef musically, beef musically, let it end in the music because people are gonna get. 
when you People say music, get... what are you talking about, dude? Because dude. there's only so much you can talk about about you? an individual. What is wrong with Are you saying it should be musically? If if me and you are beefing, what is wrong with you? if me and you are beefing, you are saying I should rap about you only. Yes. That's what you're saying. No, I'm not saying. To... So I can rap about listen, people around listen. you and your family as long as it's music, it's fine. Brian, what are the rules of engagement when you're beefing? There are no rules. Just don't get no. it physically involved. No. What are the rules of engagement when you're beefing? You tell me. Since you're saying there are rules. No, I'm asking you. I don't you know the there rules. No rules. There are no rules. There are no, oh, there if no it's rules. A, if it's a rap beef, it's just like, uh, it's, it's just like uh, the rap battles. Everything is game, fam. You will see people diss people who have relatives with disabilities. They are going to be dropped in those disses. They don't care. Right. So okay. as long as you're saying, as long as it now, stays now in the I'm music. Saying, now I'm saying, now I'm saying, look, the way Kendrick structured this, right? Kendrick said he's been giving him warning shots saying, look, I've got an album. Keep on talking about me. I'm going to gradually increase the volume. And he's been doing that. Anyway, we spent too much time talking about Family Matters because Family Matters was only out for an hour. And Kendrick responded with Meet the Grahams. And in Meet the Grahams, that's when Kendrick... I think Kendrick knew Drake was going to take the path of Kenny's wife, Kenny's kids, Kenny's family. Because now Kendrick on Meet the Grahams, he went at him from his son's perspective. First verse was Kendrick talking to Adonis apologizing to Adonis for having such a father. I mean, there was a part where he said... Yeah, he was talking about your, his dad first. Adonis's father. No, he was talking about his dad. Who's Adonis? Is that Drake? That's Drake's son. No, but he... No, at first he was talking about his dad. Who's dad? Drake. Adonis is Drake's son. And he was saying, I wish your grandfather... Yeah, so it was... Put him up in a condom. He was talking to Adonis. Adonis and... And is dead. And Kevin, Drake's dead. Listen to me. I'm saying it. Listen. Listen. He said, Adonis, I'm sorry you have such a father. I wish your grandfather wrapped him up in a condom or something like that. Who's he talking to? No, I'm saying. No, he, in the first went, verse. He went on. He I'm went talking on. about the first verse, ah, Kevin. Geez, dude. All right, all right. Second okay, verse, okay, okay, okay. he went at right. Drake's mother. All right, all right, all right. All right. Third fine, verse is fine. when you went at Drake's dad. Fine, 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 fine. fine. This is Meet the Grahams, and this was, this is when I started feeling like, yeesh, yeah, Jay Fold, as much as I still think you deserve the smoke, huh? No, you can't you're, say that. You're living in no, peace, at you least. No, you can't say that. You can't, don't leave J. Cole out of this. <laughs> you can't say that, because you, you, you're saying J. Cole should actually still be kicked once he's down. Leave J. Cole out of this. Okay, fine. Yeah. Well, let's leave J. Cole out of it. So Continue. Cole, you have a fan. Then the last one was Not Like Us by Kendrick, which no, dropped like a day say, afterwards. Don't say J. Cole, you've got a fan. All three rappers I listen to them. I listen to all three of them. I'm more of a Drake You fan. don't listen to K-Dot. I listen to all three of them. K-Dot when he features, yeah. And you and you barely singles. talk ah, about... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a K-Dot fan. Yeah. I listen not. to all three of them. I'm not. All of them, they've got their strong shoes. They're good. And then Not Like Us. That's the last one. I don't know. Maybe something might develop after the fact. I don't know. But uh, so so far, I think Drake is down. It's Kenny for the win so far. And all the Drake fans that are saying these these last three disses from Kenny were whack. Come on, guys. You were saying Drake has got something up, though. You wouldn't be surprised if Drake has got something. No, I was saying that when uh, you, when Kenny dropped Euphoria. No, you said it a couple of hours ago. When? In my room. You said I wouldn't be surprised if Drake you has don't got say something. In your room. You said I'm not, I'm not counting out Drake. No. That's what you said. I said Drake is down right now. I'm not counting him out. But right now, Kenny is winning. Nah, this is what I'm saying. You did not say that, dude. You said it as if Drake is. You know what? You know what? This, this, no, no, no. I am saying, I am saying, 
I am saying, no. I am saying Drake is down right now. We, c everybody who's counting the scores right now, nobody's saying. Okay, so who, people who, can't say who, Drake who, is who, winning who, right who, now. Who do you want to take this? Ah, fam. In any honestly speaking, uh, in any Drake is mad for me. Drake, the whole ghostwriting thing for me, kind of like ruins it for me in a battle, fam. Okay, let's, songs wise, let's, I vibe with Drake way more than Kendrick. Let, let's let's take let's take that because it's a cloud that's always gonna be hanging on his head till he proves it. I said this already. Removing the the AI board writers, who do you say? Say what should win? Mm -hmm. who, who who do you think should take the cup? Kendrick. Why? Because of the AI thing. No, I said removing. I the can't AI. remove that. I said because removing. That's the. Just no, okay. It. Removing it, I would say Drake because I vibe more with Drake <laughs> musically. Yeah, but because it's a battle and it's questionable who's writing his stuff, it's 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 weird for me, fam. No, dude. You can't <laughs> remove the AI thing because it's a it huge is. deciding that's, factor. That's, that's what I want in to the, in the You're whole like thing. You're like an onion. I have to be careful with you. You're like an onion. What do you mean? I'm like an You're onion. You're an onion. Dude, listen, 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 listen. You said Drake isn't. Drake is more of a pop star. No, yeah. You, you said listen, Drake. listen to me. L listen, Andika. Drake, when it comes to albums, I've always vibed more with Drake's albums than I have with Kendrick's. Kendrick's albums are way too conceptual for me and blah, blah, blah. But Kendrick, when it comes to the features and stuff like that, he does well. I think he does awesomely well. I loved him on 50 Cent's joint, Gaines joint, Eminem's joint. I loved him and he represents Compton. He's a very conceptual rapper and when he gets aggressive, I love that delivery of his. But I feel like he gets a little bit too conceptual sometimes. So his bodies of work, his albums, uh, I vibe more to Drake's albums even though I last really vibed with Drake on Take Care. So, and I don't really care about albums because it really doesn't matter whether Drake wrote the songs or not if it's an album. Because you're just listening to it for the vibes, yeah? But then now when it's a battle now, you know, it's a bit different. You know, if... I mean, dude, just imagine three, four people writing a verse to diss somebody else. Meanwhile, this dude is dissing all of them no, by himself. No, we, we, said, we, said, we said we're going to remove the AI thing. Yeah, which is, yeah, which is why gonna, I'm saying it's it. difficult to make a judgment no, when no. you remove that factor. Just, just, it's not difficult. If you remove that it's factor... It's not difficult. Just take face value of, of what he's saying. Kendrick. Huh? Kendrick. If we're Kendrick? looking at face value, Kendrick. You said Drake. Oh uh, no, I'll say Kendrick. I want Kendrick to win. <laughs> pick Psycho a side, dude. Pick a side. Ah, pick a side. Psychological bro. warfare. Ah, a, there's no psychological warfare. Psychological because warfare. now, now you wanna be like on both terms, like ah, no, 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 I no, said no, Drake. No. Dude. Ah, no, I said Kendrick. Pick a side. Which one? No, dude. You said Drake at first. Now you're saying. No, Kendrick. you want me to pick a side before pick they've a won. Side. I said, who do you want to take this? Fam, you based started off saying, nah, it's I can't difficult. Say, no, but based on what Kenny said and based on what Drake said, I'm gonna pick Kenny. I'll pick Kenny. Yeah, no, and okay. Okay. battle wise, battle wise, it's just like MGK and Eminem. No, I don't listen. I don't listen to MGK. Don't bring that one. But I think don't Eminem had a better. Listen, don't, don't no, you. I because have to. It's, it's gonna take. We're, we're no, not gonna it's not gonna finish. take a while if we're you stop gonna interrupting gonna me. We're not gonna finish. Cause Here's I'm gonna MGK. Have a to what you're listen, saying. MGK had a better diss track in terms of like it's more commercial. No. Eminem had a better diss track in terms of lyrical prowess. No. But I can vibe to MGK's tracks. No. More. No. Does it even though I'm an Eminem fan? For the sake. But anyway, let's move on. No, you can't say your two cents and then you cut me out, ka. And Kawati will take too long. You, I said, leave it out there. Don't say it. You said it. Now so let I me said put my two cents. Put your two cents. Yes. I said, kill shot. Ah, what was it? Rap Devil. Rap Devil is the best diss track towards diss Eminem. Track to Eminem. Yes, and I agree. No, you didn't agree. You didn't agree, dude. Why are you like this? Why you're such a different person on camera? Why are you like this? Dude, I even like have this? the evidence. Why are you like I this? even have the evidence in don't, the group. Don't, I said so in the group. Even, don't even bring up the group. Because even in the group. Because I was saying, everybody knows that Kill Sh uh, Rap Devil, right, was the best diss track towards Eminem. I always said this. No, you didn't say that. You didn't say that. What is wrong with you today? 
I've always said this. I have why, always why, why are you said like this. It's like you're a different person on camera. Kevin, I have <laughs> always said this. Problem, your problem ah, is. No, okay, no, no. It's your problem okay. is okay. you now you wanna cut me off. No, it's okay. Now ah, you wanna let's, cut let's, me yeah, off. I wanna cut you off. Ah, yeah. no. let's, this let's guy does it. not listen when I speak. No, let's finish it. Let's finish it. Let's finish it. Let's finish it. Anyway, so now the clock is on Drake. Drake, dude, I don't know why we always end up on the left side of the screen. We should be in the middle. You always come in close to me, and I'm here. always running away from you. Don't run away from no, me. No, don't me, come close keep to me. Keep me in check. Don't come close to me. Keep me in check, please. Anyways, you didn't ask me who do I want to win. Who do you want to win? I always said K Dot was the underdog in this, and I want him to. K Dot, K Dot is not the underdog. He's the. He's, he's the, not he's an the, underdog. He's, he's the less. He's the less artist that has got respect in this, in terms of fandom. How many people listen to K Dot? Drake has way more haters than K Dot. But he's got more success. He's got more fans. He's got more of everything. He's on top. Everybody knows that Drake is the one on top. He's no, because one. because K Dot is not consistent. That's what I'm saying. So K Dot was the underdog, right? No, but he's not an underdog, dude. You can't call him an underdog. I'm saying in this battle, he's the underdog. What do you mean when you say underdog? What is an underdog? Right? As in, as in, okay, Drake is the one who's more battle tested than. Then Kenny. There's that. There's success. There's career. There's money. If you there's wanna, stardom. If, if you want to put it that way. He's the underdog. If you want to put it that way. So right now, K-Dot can now say, he can now say, I got the magic stick when it comes to rap. None of you can say nothing. So you on K-Dot's side? Yeah, 100%. Since the beginning. Okay. Anyway, I, I don't know what's going to happen during this coming week, but... Yeah, you will keep you posted as much as we can. As fast as we can. Uh, yo, I, I bet you like three or four tracks have dropped while we record. <laughs> no, like, I, I, ah! I, I think this is why I'm saying, like, K Dot, he's been ready since I don't know for how many years. He's got so many things in the chamber. And I don't think Drake, Drake, uh, on this one, he should just do a push a T. He should just no. leave it. Yeah, because I see. You should just leave it. Hey, 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 and Drake, we don't want to hear none of that J Prince nonsense. What don't come at us and say, because last time he was like, J Prince said I shouldn't drop the diss track because it'll nah. cause issues, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Nah, Drake, none of that. Drop whatever vile nonsense that you're gonna drop. Kendrick has got a whole album ready for it. Yeah. I'm ready for it, man. I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm ready for it. I was really saddened by some of the Drake fans that are saying Drake is winning right now. There's, there are always going to be those kind of people. Ah, guys, that's, 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 that's serious levels of delusions, guys. I mean, I'm not going to count Drake out yet, but to say he's winning right now? Nah, after, 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 let me, let me be specific on which time frame I'm talking about here. After Kendra, Kendrick dropped Not Like Us, for you to say Drake is winning, you need to get your your your, your stands, your Drake stands. Oh, by the way, did you hear that uh, Drake is now an ac 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 acronym for yeah, yeah, yeah. "Don't rap against Kendrick yeah, ever." Yeah. Dude, this is what I'm saying. Even uh, even like Kendrick's disses, right? He's got catchphrases, bro. He's got... We don't want to hear you got, say dude, no more. He's got, he's got catchphrases. There's the that. one about the OVO, OV hose. He's got, he's got <laughs> history lessons in that. He's got... Dude. And, it, and it, it's all gradual. There's no one point where he was just like straight out the gate. I'm just coming in hot. It's all gradual. One diss is bigger and better than the next. They... Ah... Uh, this is where his conceptualization no. is like paying off. And Drake, don't be surprised if like at one of your shows, people be you chanting. start start hearing people yeah. in the background here. We don't want to hear you say no yeah. more. Oh, dude, he, he <laughs> beat him psychologically. <laughs> Look, oh, it's dude. psychological warfare, man. Yeah. I mean, but Drake started this, man. He jabbed at him. Well, Kendrick no, started. Been jabbing well, they've been jabbing the, at each other. Last, I don't know. Almost But decade, uh, so. yeah. Not yeah, hey, but... we needed this for hip hop. I just hope it doesn't get out in the streets and people start, you know, pop, pop, yeah, pop, don't, pop. Don't, don't Please, no wax. No, 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 None no of violence, that. Yeah. Keep it on wax. And yeah, I mean, 
till the next one i'm brown willis no relation of bruce t-shirts are still out for sale 15 bucks a pop this was another episode of gloves off zw we out i'm the vet by the way he didn't even give me the chance but yeah so uh, so, uh, so, 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 you're not, so you're not going to das vidanya huh das vidanya so you're not going to uh, you messed up my flow today Fake ass niggas. It is big!